All right, YouTube, we right back. It's Monday, so you know what time it is. We got chess. I ain't gonna do a lot of talking because we're trying to make these videos as short as possible so you can go ahead and write down the workout, take it to the gym, and get those gains. And I hope everybody's following that diet. If you don't know nothing about it, it's right up there in that corner. Definitely check that video out if you have not already looked into it. If you are serious about building some muscle, this will definitely help you to achieve all of your goals. Our first exercise, we got the flat dumbbell bench press. Now, y'all know I'm just getting over my show, so I lost a lot of strength. To be honest, I pretty much lost all of my strength, but I'm getting it back day by day, week by week. So I was really impressed that my working weight today was 90 pounds, and I did that for four sets for eight reps. Then our next exercise, we got the incline dumbbell press, and we're going to do three sets. I'm going to stay between eight to 12 reps. Go to where your shoulder mobility is, and that is your range of motion. Make sure you control the weight. And like I say, we got three sets eight to 12 reps now we're going to do the decline dumbbell press this is becoming one of my favorite movements for my chest because i really feel like it targets my entire chest i feel it from the bottom to the mid all the way up to the top portion from the range of motion it just goes all the way up and i'm really starting to like this exercise we're going to do four sets and we're going to stay between six to 12 reps you're going to be exhausted but still kind of start light that way you can progress heavy i think the weight that i did i think i started out with 60 and then i did 70 then i did 80 and then i did 90 and i got at least six reps every single set and honestly i think i stayed around eight and then for our next exercise we're going to do the incline morris press and we're going to superset that with the machine fly if you don't like your gym's machine fly just go ahead and just pick a lighter dumbbell and just do a dumbbell dumbbell fly instead is perfectly up to you all these workouts i give to you take one out add one in customize it to your goals and to your gains i'm just giving you the blueprint and you can customize it however you like but like i say we got the incline morse press and we got it superset it with the machine fly or the dumbbell fly we got four sets eight to twelve reps with both of those exercises now you know what i told you i'm trying to build them look at them side delts growing i'm telling y'all it does not take a lot of time to build those side delts I'm hitting my side delts hard Monday and I'm hitting my side delts Friday and I've been doing that for like 18 weeks and they have they have came up almost like six months to like almost a year. That's that's how, how much gains I've making because I've never really trained them. So it's like those newbie gains and like it's just phenomenal. I get so many compliments on my shoulders now and I'm like, man, that's my weakest body part. So it just shows you if you attack your weakest body part and I mean make that a priority and every time you're in the gym, at least touch it or at least two or three times a week, it will respond way quicker than your other muscles that's already used to that, uh, just, just the volume. So definitely start attacking your weaker body parts. But like I said, we got the side raise machine raise. If you don't have this, you can do the cable instead. I'm doing 100 total reps. I know a lot of y'all gonna be like, man, that's overkill. It's not, it's not at all. Like, that's when I get the best pump. I usually do like five or six sets, ranging between 15 to 20 reps, and I have amazing feeling, and I actually wake up tomorrow, the next day, and I actually got a little bit of sore in my side delts. If I don't train them like that, I don't even feel none, and they don't respond, and they don't grow. And after we finish with that, we're gonna do the dumbbell side raises. Pick a light weight. I think I was using 15 pounds, and guess what? I'm doing 100 reps again. 200 total reps on the side delts. Look at the, look at the growth. I know my camera's blurry, but it just, I'm telling you, they'll really respond. But like I said, we got 100 total reps with the side raise machine or the cables, and then you got 100 total reps with the standing dumbbells, side raises, 200 total reps. Now, we're gonna do a little bit of tricep work. You done worked your triceps indirectly, so now we're gonna work them directly. Our first exercise, we're gonna do the, the kneeling rope extensions. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get on your knees, get your little pad, and get on your knees and get the rope, and you're just going to do a regular tricep extension. The reason why I do this with the kneeling, it takes all the momentum out of the lift. So regular lift, you could do like 200 pounds. This is going to humble you down to probably like 100 or 120. Definitely try this out because the next day my triceps are always sore. We got three sets, and so we're going to stay between 10 to 12 reps. Then our next exercise, we're going to do the easy bar uh, extensions. I normally recommend you to do them on the decline, but today the decline was took up, so I just did them on the flat bench. But if you got the decline and it's available, I would rather you do it on the decline because it's less strain on your wrist, shoulders, and your elbows. So definitely try it on the decline. But like I say, if you like it on the flat, that is more how, like I say, customize this workout to you and your goals. But we got three sets for 12 reps. Like I tell you, every other day I do abs or calves abs or calf no matter what it falls on 
Today it fell on abs. So I did four sets for eight to 12 reps just with the hanging ab crunch. And that is all I did. Today is Monday. We had the clips. It's just a great day. I got plenty of carbs back in my body. My strength is coming up. My body is filling out. I'm still rather lean. I'm showing you a little physique update, just doing a little bit of posing. I'm still looking half decent, but the main thing, I feel amazing. But anyways, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But like I always tell you, keep getting them gains. Uh.